In this video, I'm gonna break down to you guys exactly all of my expenses, but also how and why I decided to live this way and give you a suggestion on how you should live your life, but just a suggestion. So those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Katu, and I own BJK University, which is a, an educational company on a mission to impact 1 million lives. Now with that said, let's go ahead and break down my personal expenses and how I spend my money um, as an eight figure earner. You know, what do I do? Do I blow my money on, um, you know, how much of my money do I save? Uh, you know, how much do I reinvest back in the business? How much do I keep as a person? Um, and what do I do, right? So the very first thing that, you know, always comes to mind is obviously is your rent. You know, how much do you rent for? Let's see. So number one is rent. So this is a big one. Right now we live in um, Miami, uh, Florida. Uh, we moved here from San Diego about a year ago. And currently we live in a 38th floor apartment, uh, two, two bed, two bath apartment, about almost 1300 square foot or almost 1200 square foot. And we pay about $3,050. Now, if we decide to move out, this number might increase because, you know, pretty much all everything, all, all the real estate here in Miami is increasing. But for right now, we pay $3,050. Now, the second thing that comes right after that is our food, is how much we eat, right? So just recently, about three weeks ago, we hired a personal chef, someone that actually comes to our place, goes shopping, brings everything here, cleans it, cooks it, cleans after himself, and goes home. He comes, home, uh, he comes to our place two times per month, and it's actually a lot more, it's a lot cheaper than people think. But the reason why we did it is because it's a lot more time efficient. Because you see, for me, the way I think about it, the one resource that I have limited amount of and that is not replaceable is my time. Money, I can always make more. Everything else, I can always make more. But my time, one hour on a Tuesday morning on, say, January 31st, 2022, is the only one hour. It's not going to come back again. So for me... I do everything I can to make sure I take back as much of my time. And when I was looking at all the activities that I was doing that were taking a lot of my time that were not equaling in, 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 um, in I guess, uh, giving me a good ROI, which is like spending time with my team, you know, improving our program for our students so we can get them better results, doing all those things. Those are great high leverage activities where I'm investing great amount of time, but getting a great amount of results. But grocery shopping and cooking and always needing to have ready, you know, food ready to go was something that was always going through my mind. And that's why I went to wearing all black because it saves me time. So what I did is we found a chef, he charges $35 an hour and we pay him about, so a chef, we pay him about $2,400 per month. That's um, with about, Five, five and uh, three, eight, about 12, about 10 to 12 meals each one of us uh, every single week. And he comes uh, twice per week. He comes on Tuesdays and on Saturdays. He spends about three, four hours here. He cooks, he cleans everything. He grocery shops, all that stuff, right? So about $2,400. And this was probably one of the best decisions that I ever made is hiring a chef. Before that, we used to buy ready food from like Publix and, and all those different places and it was just disgusting. Otherwise, I would have to wait for my wife to cook and sometimes she would cook, but I don't have time to eat and it would sit and get cold and she would get mad at me and I would get mad at her and it was just frustrating. So I was like, you know what? This is ready, it's in the fridge, I take it out, it takes me about 10 minutes to heat it and I can eat anytime during meetings, anytime really, it doesn't matter. The third thing is car. So up until now, we were driving a CLA 250 Mercedes. It was $355 a month. Just about a week or two weeks ago, we bought a new car because our lease is over. We bought an X3 BMW 2022, very nice car, uh, but it costs us, uh, so car, costs us $841 a month. I think it's eight, four, I, I know it's around there, but it's eight, about, it's $841 a month, okay? Uh, plus insurance, so insurance, insurance went up. We used to pay 240, now we pay 350. Uh, so insurance, so that's uh, car insurance, uh, auto is uh, uh, 350, I think. 
And then we got the fifth thing is insurance, but health. We pay four hundred and thirty-one dollars per month. So we got rent, uh, food, uh, uh, car, health insurance, and uh, car insurance. And then the sixth thing is groceries. So we still buy like you know, we buy like simple stuff, and that's one fifty a month. So we buy simple stuff like some you know some drinks. Uh, we buy just kind of some things that we want to, to eat or drink or whatever, and that's about $150 per month. Uh, so that's the other thing. Um, and, and usually this, we get it delivered. We have you know Whole Foods right down the street. We have Publix right down the street. We get on their app. We simply order something, and it gets delivered on, over to our house. Uh, let me see. Can you guys see right here? Yep. Utilities. So this is going to be things like... Wow, look at my handwriting. So that's number seven. Utilities are things like uh, electricity, uh, um, you know, uh, what, what do we pay for? So electricity, um, my wife pays those, but I can't remember. So it's electricity, it's not water, water's included. It's something else. So it's electricity and something else, oh, cable. So electricity, cable, and also like Hulu or whatever, it's about $150 a month. And then let me see if I forgot anything. So I got uh, utilities, groceries, chef, car, rent. Awesome, very good. And then the last thing, which is kind of one of the most expensive things, and, and you guys, those of you that follow me on Instagram, probably see one of the things that I love doing the most is eating out. And I love good food. And I mean, you know, we spent two, three, four, five hundred dollars on good dinners. Uh, the other day we spent twelve hundred dollars on dinner, just me and my wife, right? And so I love doing that. And we spend about, so uh, going out, I guess you could say, going out, we spend about $3,500 per month. These are all of my expenses. And to add all of them together, I had just forgotten health insurance. To add all of them together, they come up to $10,872 or so, right? Roughly. 10,000, so about $11,000. Let's just say it's $11,000. And by the way, this was cheaper. This was about, you know, this was a lot cheaper because this just went up. So 841 minus 355. So 486 plus 120. So it was about $600 cheaper. So it was about $10,000 uh, before we bought the new car uh, because our lease was 355 and our insurance was uh, only 240, where now it's more expensive. So our company generates, last year, we generated almost $10 million in, profit, in, in revenue. And I personally, as the CEO of the company, only spend about $11,000 per month in expenses, right? I don't drive a fancy car. I don't live in a fancy house. I could very easily live in a place that is $20,000. I could very easily be renting a car that costs $5,000. This could be a Rolls Royce or any exotic, like a Lamborghini is like $2,400 a month. Um, I could easily live in a penthouse, in a, a two-story penthouse, four bedrooms, or a, you know, $20,000 will probably get me about a $10, $15 million house, uh, and my mortgage would be $20,000, but I don't. So that's kind of the second part of this video that I want to talk to you guys. But if you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and smash the thumbs up button because it tremendously helps us rank in the algorithm. So the question is, Bashar, why do you live on $11,000 per month when your company generates, you know, eight figures? This year, we anticipate to generate between 50 to $60 million in revenue. And we're very profitable. So the question is, why do I, and our, my expenses this year are gonna go up a little bit because we're gonna move, and this is gonna be about $5,000 per month, five or $6,000 per month, but I don't see anything else changing, right? That's the only thing. So it's gonna be more like $13,000 a month instead of 11. But why do I do that? You know, I could very easily go and buy, you know, um, uh, Gucci or go and buy Louis or go and buy all these things. I could very easily do all these other things. I could very easily go buy an exotic. I could very easily be flying private. I could very easily be buy, you know, not wearing a $94 watch. Why is it that I do those things and I live on only $11,000? Well, you see, when I first started BJK University, I was already 
a profitable Amazon seller making $30,000, $40,000 a month in net profit, not in revenue, net profit. My business was generating about $100,000, $120,000 a month in revenue at that point. And I was waking up every single day. I had two, three VAs that were overseas that were monitoring my entire business, doing everything. And my bank had a couple hundred thousand dollars and my, my debt was getting cleared. My, my parents were happy. I was happy. I was married. Everything was good. But then I just, I was very empty inside. I, I had no work. I was about working about half an hour a day, maybe an hour a day. I wasn't excited to wake up every single day, although I was technically rich. I was you know, almost one of the one percenters. So why is it that I went from doing that to, you know, and I was traveling all the time. We were traveling every, you know, every couple months. Um, I was buying the Gucci and the Louis and I was doing all that. I went and bought a Bentley, right? And I went and lived in a penthouse in San Diego. But why did I leave all that behind and then start BJK University, which I spent 60, 80, 100 hours a week working um, and, and obviously it makes a lot of money. There's no question about that. The company is very profitable. I'm not shying away from the company making money. But why did I go from that to where I'm only working half an hour a day to now I'm working eight, 10 hours a day? Why did I do that? Some will say, well, maybe you're making more money now. Sure, I am. I'm still an Amazon seller. I'm still making seven figures per year. So that's already there already still, but I could just end it there. Why do I make so much money but only spend so little? Because when I wanted to find purpose in life, when I wanted to find a why in life, my Amazon business didn't come from place of why, it came from place of what. And the what was I need, I was in survival mode, I needed to clear debt, I needed to make sure that everything that I was doing that I was actually gonna be able to pay rent next month, that I was actually able to pay all the debt collectors that were running after me after my restaurant business burned down. I was able to pay back my parents who were disappointed in me because I spent and, 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 and wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars of their money. So what was I supposed to do, right? And after I, I, I had made it, technically, I couldn't see myself living for the next 10, 20, 30 years doing the thing that I was doing because it didn't fulfill me deep down. So the reason why I started BJK University wasn't because I wanted to get rich. I was technically already rich. And I could have scaled that business to, you know, to eight figures, nine figures, I could have kept on scaling it. But I just didn't see myself enjoying what I was doing. There was no interaction. There was no true impact on the end user's life. Now you can say, you can argue and say, well, but sure, you could have focused on providing great quality products, cheaper prices, all that stuff, and really made an impact in the consumer's lives. Yes, but I did not see that. I couldn't see that, right? I, I couldn't feel it. I couldn't touch it. Today, when I wake up, the very first thing I do is I get on our uh, community group, students group, uh, 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 community and look at all the screenshots that they've posted overnight or yesterday or whatever. And that's how I start my day because that's the thing that fuels my fire. That's the thing that wakes me up every single morning motivated to go and work harder and crush it in life and make sure that I do the things that truly matter to me. All the other stuff, it's nothing but artificial. All the, all the other things, the Gucci and the Louis and the cars and, the, and all that stuff, it's, it's not to fulfill your soul, it's to fulfill the eyes of other people, the desires of other people. If you're always going to look outside and look at what your sister-in-law is doing or what your cousin is doing, what your friend is doing and try to compete, you will always lose because there's always, I don't care what you've accomplished in life, there's always going to be someone with a bigger dick out there. And there's going to always be someone beating you. And that was the thing that I realized that I need to stop looking at what everyone else is doing and refocus back into what I want, what truly fulfills me, what I really want in life. And that was impacting people's lives. That is seeing someone coming to me with a need, wanting to accomplish more in life, wanting to spend more time with their family, wanting to take their kids on vacation, wanting to, you know, have a happy marriage and then be able to give that to them in a year or two or three because we care about what we are doing here because we have a system that works and other people want it, right? Now today, yes, it's Amazon FBA. BJK University is, an, is not an Amazon FBA education platform. It is an education platform that has the mission to impact 1 million lives. Today it's Amazon because I started with Amazon. I was a successful Amazon seller. In a year or two, it'll be other things. It'll be Amazon plus other things. We'll always teach Amazon as long as Amazon is viable. Today we still teach it. We're growing it because we know it's, it's one of, if not the most valuable online business in the world. But over time, we're gonna add other vehicles. 
because there are other ways that we can impact people's lives, not just with Amazon. Some people don't want to sell on Amazon. Some people don't want to do e-commerce. Some people want to do sales. We have an amazing and huge sales team. We can teach people how to do sales. We have an amazing and, and, and a huge marketing team. We can teach people how to do marketing. We, we could teach people how to, you know, we can find someone who is a real estate investor who is great at what they're doing, bring them under the wing of BJK University and have them teach our students how to invest in real estate, how to trade stocks, how to do all these other things. That is why I exist. I don't exist because of the 10 million. I don't exist because of the 50 million. I want to grow our company to a billion dollars. That's not because I want to make more money, but because I want to give more opportunity for our team inside of our company. When someone comes into our company, my goal for them is I'm going to provide you with the best opportunity here than anywhere else because I want you to focus because that's the only way that you can actually scale and grow as a human being is when you focus, when you keep things simple. So in order for me to ask so much of you, I obviously need to provide you with the best opportunity possible and to inspire you and give you a purpose for you to show up every single day to accomplish something great in life. So everything that I said in the last 10 minutes, take that and look at your life and say, what are the things that arouse me? What are the things that wake me up every single day? Is it the belt? Is it the $10,000 a month? Is it making a million dollars? Is it telling my friends that I'm a millionaire? Or is it being able to have something bigger than that? And trust me when I say this, in the beginning for me, yes, it was the $10,000 a month. Yes, it's making a million dollars. Yes, doing all that. But once you get there, those are nothing but empty. You have to look at beyond that. And if you can't see beyond the money, you will always lose because you will get to the point where money is not motivating you anymore. Making an extra $5,000 when you're making $50,000 a month, it's not as exciting. In the beginning, yes, you're making f your first $5,000 a month, your first $10,000 a month. Yes, that's amazing. But once you get to making 20, 30, 50, 100, thousand dollars per month anything past that you've already solved all the problems that money can solve anything left money cannot solve purpose deep down you have to come from inside what truly fulfills you what is the thing that if you had all the money in the world you would still wake up every single morning excited to go to work and trust me don't tell me it's retirement don't tell me i just want to sip margaritas on the beach because trust me when i say this human beings we are created to work. This is how we find fulfillment. You're only satisfied when you are truly fulfilled, when it comes from deep down, when it comes from true passion, when you are excited about the thing that you are doing. That is the only time you are going to wake up every single day wanting to accomplish more, wanting to do more, wanting to give back, wanting to grow more. Because the more you grow, the more you're going to be able to give back. The more you grow, the more opportunities you provide other people. And the more you grow, the more you are going to be able to help people around you. And trust me, I know that there are people around you that want your help and that need your help. And you can only improve their lives and you can only help them when you are actually growing. Outside of that, I truly hope that this video found you well. Please smash that thumbs up button because it really helps us rank in the algorithm. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I will see you in the next video. Take care.